Hello, mate. Hey. How you doing? Good to see you. So good to see you. I've missed you. Uh, you too, brother. You too. It's been a it's been a long, long time, but here we are back on Zoom. Yeah, three long, cold years, Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, the man. wilderness. In the wilderness, in the wild. Hey, man, congratulations on Forget Me. I love this song so much. Thank you, man. Cheers. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was very nervous to put it out, but people seem to be reacting well to it, I think. <laughs> it's hard to tell. People could be... I, I don't trust anybody when they say they like things now. I feel like it's all some part of some cruel prank that I'm going to be on the receiving end of. But, um, but yeah, man, it seems like people seem to be into it. It's obviously very nervous putting music out after three years. So um, I'm just excited. I'm just, I'm glad to have a job again. It's nice to be employed. <laughs> <laughs> well, take me back because you're on top of the world. Number one songs left and right. You're touring, you're doing all the things. Mm -hmm. And then you go away for a little bit. Obviously there's a pandemic as well. What What's happening in the life of Louis Capaldi um, during, during that time? During the pandemic, I just got really fat. Uh, I'm still struggling with the effects of that. Um, the other day, someone said to me, you're an inspiration for big boy songwriters everywhere. And I was like, oh, God, I never realized I was a big boy, but thank you. Um, so that's something I'm, I'm, I'm wrestling with. Um, my new body, my after body. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, I was very, you know, I, I figured out during the pandemic that I am just as lazy as I thought I was. Do you know what I mean? I am exactly the person that I thought I was in terms of I, did, I didn't do anything to better myself. There were people learning new languages, you know, instruments, etc. I did none of that. I think, if anything, I have regressed as a person in the time <laughs> that I've been away. Um, but I made an album. That's one thing I did, productive. Um, uh, and yeah, it's, that's, that's it, basically. The album is very similar to the last one. As I said, I've done no personal progression in that time. So, um, so yeah, man, it was good. I, I mean, it, it was as good as a global pandemic can be, I guess. Um, I'm still here. That's one thing that yeah. I can't my lucky stars for. Um, but yeah, man, it was. I, 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 it was pretty fucking boring. I've swore. I apologize. You're good. Oh no, okay. I want, I want a free Lewis Capaldi. Oh well, I'm, I'll take my trousers off then. No, let's do it. <laughs> That's how I like them. Yeah. You know, a lot of people wanted to better themselves. That was so annoying during that time. You doubled down. You were like, this is yeah. me. Take it or leave it. Don't back doon. Double doon. That's what that's a guy, that's a comedian in, the, in Scotland called um, Lemmy says that. And um, it's never, true words have never been spoken. Yeah, I hated those people who were like, oh, I went out for my hours exercise today. And, you know, I have been learning guitar or saxophone or whatever. No one gives a shit about you learning this instrument. The world is on fire. People are out there dying. And you're talking about learning fucking twinkle, twinkle, little star on the flute. I don't care about you or your, or your, or your personal growth. It makes me sick to look at you. I'm depressed enough as it is stuck in my house. I don't need you ratting on about fucking learning how to crochet or fucking, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know what I learned. I need, need, need to see you. I don't want to know how that you know how to make bread now. I don't want to see <laughs> yes. you learn how to make, yeah, oh, I, I can do fucking sourdough. Cool. Who cares? Sorry, I was holding that in. That's I can tell. Sense. Healing. I can, tell. I, I can feel the healing begin now. <laughs> this is not yeah. an interview. It's actually a therapy session. Yeah, yeah, I love it, and I need it. Me too. Me too. I we we need this. Uh, yeah. Okay, so three years pass. You write this album. Congratulations yeah. on that. And now it's like you released the song. It's number one in the UK. Yeah. Uh, the video is amazing. You're out there. You got the you got the whitey tidies. You're sexing Harry Styles. You come out guns blazing, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. I've been. I have been. Best. I've been a busy boy. Um. Yep. Yeah. So it's been a, it's been an interest. To be fair, it's been an interesting. The last six months have been pretty interesting, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, the Harry Styles thing was interesting. I didn't, I don't know what I've sent to him. Still, I sent him for anyone who doesn't know. I've sent him an Instagram DM, and mm. they disappear after the person's viewed it, and you can't view it. Um, and I, I sent it at four a.m. when I was hammered, so I have no idea what it is. For all I know, I've sent a picture of my hemorrhoids to Harry Styles. So it's like, this could be like, could be anything. He replies, he's saying, this feels like a you up text. Mm. And I'm like, 
oh my God, what the what in the name of Christ have I sent to Harry Styles? I don't know that. I've never met Harry Styles. I don't know this man at all. Um, so yeah, and I don't imagine I will be meeting. I think his security probably have my face on a piece of paper as like, if you see this man, tackle him at once. <laughs> um but yeah it's been it's been it's been real it's been real for sure <laughs> you made your presence known I, I just miss you on social media too i mean i love i love your music but just see having your presence on on instagram and tiktok what's on your for you page on tiktok by the way what's 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 on your it's, landing page my ho- my for you page is way too horny it's way too horny there's i might have liked one picture of a, one video of a girl in a bikini doing a dance and all of a sudden I'm some sort of sex pest apparently because I'm getting fed this mountains of just scantily clad ladies and it's getting progressively worse like what they're or not worse I mean I guess depends how you look at it but it gets progressively more like why there was a lady yesterday wearing nothing but a bikini doing yoga and compromising poses and I'm like, I don't want to see this. I don't want to be turned on all the time. I, give me some respite, please. Let me relax, TikTok. I want to just like, I wish I could, I wish I could blank slate my TikTok. I wish I could have the algorithm forget me and then like forget me at nice. Good stuff, Lewis. And yes. Come on. Loved it. Loved it. But um, I wish it could forget me and I could start afresh. And I would never look at a picture or a video of a naked lady or a half naked lady ever. Because this is hell on earth. I tell you that. <laughs> it's hell on earth. I'm just trying to go about my day and boom, there's a pair of breasts in my face. <laughs> on a lovely Sunday afternoon. Come I know, on. I'm, I'm eating dinner with my grandmother and she has to witness these breasts because I'm like, whoa, grand, look at these. Look at these. <laughs> what do you think of these, grand? <laughs> Let's let's talk about Forget Me. Uh, what went into this song? Uh, we love playing it. Uh, Thank you. Just I haven't heard yet about the song process with this one. So I wrote it in an Airbnb in Glasgow. Um, that's what we we did a lot of the records this album in Airbnbs across Scotland because it was just like COVID. We couldn't get studios booked because when COVID stopped, everyone was in studios. Um, so we did a lot of in Airbnbs. This particular one was written in the front room, the, the living room, if you will, of a, of a lovely gentleman named Alan's house. Um, uh, so we wrote it in his house. We wrote this song very quickly because I had tickets to go see Scotland playing in the Euro Cup, like the Euro Soccer 2022 finals or whatever, 2020 finals. Um, so that had been postponed to 2021. So I was watching, I went to see Scotland play Croatia Scotland got beat 3-1, so it was awful. But um, but yeah, so I was like really rushing so that I could finish the song and get to the pub as soon as possible before I went to the game. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so so I wasn't really like thinking about it as much. I was just like, oh, am I, am I having this situation with my ex where she's sort of moved on and, and I feel I don't want her to move on like for some reason. Even though I don't want to be in a relationship, I don't want her to forget who I am or whatever. So um. So yeah, but then after that, it was like a really quick like writing session and it was like done in two hours and then I was like, right, I'll see you motherfuckers later. I'm going to get hammered. And it was like, and then I kind of forgot about the song and then a couple of days later, I was sent it and it was, I was like, this is amazing. This is a great, like, I love this song so much. So um, so yeah, and then we just fired it out and, and, uh, and here we are. But it was like one of those things where when your mind is like not, fully in the room like when you're switched off a bit somehow you kind of you're more free to write like whatever because it's like you're not overthinking anything because I was so focused on going to get hammered and watching football it's like oh well this is fine let's just do whatever and then it turned out to be one of my favorite songs that we did that's the secret sauce yeah I just need to I just need to go and get hammered more or have plans to go and get hammered to be more excited about them writing music and who who is forgetting you? I don't understand how one can forget Louis Capaldi. I, she's not going to find someone uh, funnier or has a or sexier, better, sexier. Yeah, yeah. The list yeah, goes on. You. The list goes on. Thank you. Um, I mean, it's quite. I'd say it's quite easy to forget me if you, like, if you've been in a relationship with me. I can be a bit of a shit if that's uh, if that's if I can all good to say that, Michael. Uh, if I, I can be a bit of a shit in terms of my. I'm a, I'm a handful. I'm a handful. Yeah. And 
I'm a handful in all the ways that matter, except for, no, and I'm a handful except from the one way that does matter. If that makes any sense, <laughs> you know what I mean? That and yeah. that I'm kind of like half of a handful. But um, how uh, big is your hand? Uh, just like like that much. It's just really not. It's, yeah, really difficult, really difficult times for me. But um, listen, if she had forgotten about me, she certainly hasn't now because we have billboards all up over the UK um, with me and my pants, or my underwear, sorry, as I should say. Um, so, yeah, I think that would be a, a, rude, a rude reminder of, um, of, the, of, the, of the disappointment that she faced. Um, this could be house. you, but you're playing. Yeah, that could, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. She, mm-hmm. uh, she, she'd be playing. She do be playing. <laughs> she be playing. I, uh, Forget Me Too actually has like a little more oomph to it too, I feel like. A little more, right? Yeah. Am, am I am I uh, making things up? No, no, it's, it's fast. It's sad. It's yeah. fast, but still sad. So it's sad and fast, much like my lovemaking. Much like my lovemaking. Um, and, Showmanship, uh, you got to get out on top. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's a race. You've got to finish first. So um, I think... Yeah, it's a bit more jaunty, a little bit thing. And there is some songs on the record that kind of follow that trend. But for the most part, the new album is very much, I think a lot of people who maybe aren't so keen on the kind of upbeat stuff, they're like, oh, we want a ballad, et cetera. But I'm like, don't worry, there's plenty of ballads. I just thought people have suffered enough over the last couple of years. They don't need me whining about, well, I'm still whining, but at least it sounds like I'm a bit happier about it. So, um, (laughs) So yeah, there's definitely there's plenty more ballads in the tank. Don't you worry about that. That's amazing. I, I gotta ask. I love asking this question when you're when you're uh, writing this album, you're putting it together. Yeah. Is there a song that is out that you're like, man, I I wish I wrote that. You know what I mean? Like maybe something that uh, makes you jealous at first, but maybe turns into inspiration. You're like, I gotta get in the studio because damn it, oh, that's good. Maybe like um, I remember when I heard Stay. Like the Kid Leroy one, I thought oh, yeah. that was great. incredible. I mean, obviously that unholy song by Sam Smith right now that's just absolutely smashing it. I mean, there's plenty of Sam Smith songs that I wish I'd written. That's just another one to add to the list. And also, there's a song called Complex that I don't know if you've if it's been on the radio over here at all, but like it was like a TikTok song by this Scottish girl called Kay Gregson McLeod, and it's like it's an incredible song that just went crazy on TikTok. So that'd probably be that'd probably be my top three um at the minute for sure. No, that's cool. I like hearing what what inspires you and what gets you into the studio. So mm. the album is done? Done. Finished. There's no going back now. No more chance to write any better songs either. So if these ones are duds, then fucked it. <laughs> well you were saying one of the I, I thought I saw an interview. Uh, one of the reasons why you were like, I got to put this album out or I got to put a single out is mm-hmm. someone uh, mistook you at Urban Outfitters for as an employee? Yes, yes. This was actually in the paper in the UK the other day and they made it sound like I was horrified to be recognized like if, as if I was an employee. I, I wasn't. That was not what I was saying at all. What I was saying was I was in Urban Outfitters. Large, a large portion of my demographic go to the Urban Outfitters. I don't know if I was, have my have my record in the store, so it's like it's I'm around, I'm there. They play the song on, they play my songs on the on the oh, on the um on the sound system in there. So for someone to, to come up and say, uh, "Excuse me, do you work here?" was really like, "Oh God, like I've really been slacking." This lady has no idea who I am. Very much in my demographic, probably about the same age as me. I was like, oh God, this is like, I really need to get back out there because there's a picture of me on the shelf there. Or maybe I just need to get back into shape because there's a picture of me on the shelf there. And the, the song's playing, everything. It's, and it's, it's, yeah, it was um, it was a, a text from manager like, right, we need to start releasing music. This is, we've been away for too long. People are already like get moving on. Get the billboards on. ready. Get the billboards ready. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. We need to come back with a bang. So, um. So yeah, it was that was um that was a kind of a, it's just an interesting test of like where you've because pe- the, the world moves quickly, mm. people move on and all the rest of it. So it was just quite a an interesting um I mean interesting that the song's called Forget Me. It was like it was an interesting insight into how much people might have forgotten me. So well, it, it appears that uh, they have not forgot you. Number one in the UK already. The first week of its release, right? 
yes, very, 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 very good. Very happy about that. Um, yeah, we, we, I remember the day before it came out, the Queen died. Right. So that's not great. Not and just that's for timing. Yeah, a tip for any any artists out there: don't release your big comeback single the same week the Queen dies. <laughs> not going to be great in terms of the news cycle is going to be pretty clogged up, um, mm. and you're not going to have much chance to get out there and promote it without looking like a massive dick. <laughs> But still, with all that said, still a major success. Uh, the song is cutting through like all of our uh, past favorite Louis Capaldi records. So just congratulations you, on everything, man. I'm such a huge fan uh, of your music, uh, but more so you personally. Uh, oh, thank you, man. I, I just I just love talking to you, love catching up. I can't wait till it's in person again. Last time we talked in person, we had a lovely embrace. Yeah. Um, I got oh. to, you smell very nice and I can't thank wait for that to be a thing. I can't wait to hold you in my arms again, my man. Mm. I think about it all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I can't Thank wait. You again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I love you, Lewis. Uh, we'll see you Thank soon. You, all right. Congrats again, man. See you soon, man. Thank you so much for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Thanks. See ya.